I'm uh, Karl de Bulle. I'm, um, I'm co-founder of Kimia. I founded it with uh, Antonio Navas. Uh, we founded the company in 2006. In the first three years, uh, we were a pure technology company. Uh, so we uh, tried, we built fantastic technology. We tried to sell it to the mobile carriers for them to build uh, next generation services. Um, in the end, that did not happen. Uh, so we, uh, we traveled our asses off. Uh, we tried, I saw all the offices of all the carriers of Europe several times in three years, um, but we, we couldn't make a business out of it. So um, in, the end, in the end of 2008, um, we were about to go bankrupt. Um, and in the end, we did a last desperate try. So basically, we thought, we, we thought all the stuff we told the, the operators they should do uh, to make a business, uh, why don't we just try it ourselves to see if we can make it happen. Uh, so we did. In 2009, uh, we reconverted ourselves from a um, B2B company to a direct-to-consumer company. Um, the first year, in 2009, we, um, that was the year we tried to find out how to make money uh, because we were at that time uh, 20 engineers so we were tech guys and we had to uh, learn about marketing so learn about how to develop services that the user is really um, willing to pay for uh, so the first year we did that so we, we gradually found out how to build services to to to, um, to make money but then we didn't know how to scale up. Uh, so the second year, which was in 2010, uh, our second issue we had to handle was how to scale up in, uh, in traffic and in usage. Uh, because now we knew how to make money, but we really had to make a lot of money uh, because we had some, some wages to, to pay for, from, for the employees. So in 2010, uh, we, um, we focused a lot on how to build mobile traffic initially on our own products um, and we, we got pretty su successful uh, with that so in 2010 we started scaling a lot in traffic on our own product portfolio but then we started scaling so much in traffic that we started having traffic in regions where we didn't really monetize uh, specifically in Latin America so to um, accelerate our growth and to optimize the monetization of our traffic um, in 2011, the third year, um, we started focusing on performance marketing. So we started um, finding out ways to monetize mobile web traffic via third parties. So we started building a performance marketing business. Um, and that's what, what we are still doing today. So today we have a, on the monetization part, a hybrid approach. So we do have some own products we still drive traffic to, but now the biggest part of our business is working with third party uh, service providers, uh, mainly ringtone sellers uh, all over the world, world, integrate their offers into our network and then drive them traffic uh, on a purely performance basis. Um, to give you some numbers, uh, we, um, we do now uh, 5 million uh, clicks per day um, in the performance part on sales transactions. Uh, we do uh, close to a, bil uh, a million sales transactions per month. Uh, so so when we, what we try to do is uh, when we work with partners, uh, we try to move their needle. So the moment they hook their uh, services onto our network, all their KPIs go up significantly. Um, that's the key to performance, I think. Performance is, um, is not really interesting if you do only a, a, a small numbers of sales. Uh, performance is interesting for both the network and the advertiser if you really boost uh, the business and that's what we try to do. Um, so today the company is, uh, we are uh, just over 50 employees, um, we're based in Spain where we have people uh, native in eight languages of uh, seven different nationalities. Uh, we have people native in uh, French, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, Korean, Chinese, English, Dutch. Um, 
we have a, a pretty global business, so we have uh, we monetize traffic in uh, 50 markets in Asia, in Europe, in America, and now recently we started in Africa as well. Um, and and that's what we're doing and now. Uh, until the last three years, we've reinvented ourselves once a year, um, and that's what we. Um, what we're very proud of. I think the mobile business is, uh, uh, is evolving very fast and it's adapt or die. Uh, so uh, we try to be always in front of the market and, and try to, to spot the next wave before it's big, ride it and then uh, go to the next one. And that's, that's what for, for the moment we are, I think in Africa, still recent. Eh? We started the last months. Um, we're now making money in South Africa and in Kenya, um, but we're now rolling markets in. So, um, um, but for us, Africa is still uh, is still something young. Uh, our core market is, uh, has always been uh, Europe, specifically Southern Europe and Latin America, uh, because being a Spanish company, Italy and Portugal are basically our backyards. And then um, Latin America is, is, is like home for us. Um, actually, we travel, I don't know, last year I did seven trips to, to America. Uh, my partner, basically the same and we don't travel together so we, we go a lot uh, and if we're, even if we're in Spain uh, we try to travel a lot both to learn and to and to, and to develop business yeah. we're now 50 people um, we have a significant business we need to attend um, but this is the seventh time I'm, I'm in Barcelona on the mobile world congress um, like the first time I came it was handsets antennas and then some ringtones but that was it there was nothing else and um, mobile used to be in the value-added services layer still a complex business because you need to integrate with the carriers you needed to have a certain scale invest in media on TV uh, so it um, there were quite a lot of entry barriers to go into that market uh, now it's totally different now now it's all apps and any guy in a garage in africa uh, can be your competitor so it's um, so the, the the cycle of evolution of the markets has become very quick um, the assets you need to have to be successful aren't size anymore um, so anybody can be your competitor and there's a lot of smart guys out there there's really a lot of smart guys uh, so what we try to do is we try to um, to find a balance of tending to the business we have and then trying to be lean and mean where we can uh, and fight until all, all against all these small guys out there uh, which is not an easy thing uh, i think that's for us the biggest challenge like finding finding a balance of how to work with the big companies and how to find a synergy with all these small guys and uh, and 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 get that ecosystem to work and i think that's that's something generic for the industry now i think that's a, it's an industry that's now inventing itself it's all falling together i think that's really the big issue